outfit of the day. This shirt is from Mr. Price. This top is old. I don't know where it comes from. My pants that I abuse. Guys, please tell me I can get other pants like this. Because I really need other pants. Uh, then I'm wearing All Stars. Uh, I need to get I need to get loafers, guys. I think this outfit has made me realize how much I need to get loafers. I don't have. And then this cutie patootie is from Mr. Price as well. It's already dirty. I was using it yesterday. I need to find like a scotch, a scotch guide to spray. And then this is the perfume I'm using. Hello. There we go. Nope. We were almost. <laughs> ah, guys, the day I learned how this thing works. Anyway, this is the Mojave Ghost. There we go. The fine fragrance Mojave Ghost. It smells so, so nice. So here's OOTD. I'm going to lunch with my brother. I'm running late-ish. Ish. But I'll make it on time. So... Yeah, let's go. Look, you see, I'm wearing the same one. You're wearing the same outfit as in the, as in the, the previous vlog. Yes. Okay. Look, see, I'm, I'm wearing normal shoes. You're wearing normal clothes. Yes. Can you see? Okay. Okay, bye. Can I vlog in peace now? Go, go. Okay, bye. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Bye. What's that? The, the unfortunate part of being a little sister. <laughs> I came to be known in peace. First of all, my brother dragged me here, guys. I had such a nice lunch with my brother. What a nice lunch I had with my brother. It was so beautiful and so insightful. No. Then he was like, yeah, no, we're going to, to, to go and visit uh, our sister. Ooh, I mustn't say where she lives. Anyway, we are here. Now she saw my bag. This kitty petty bag that I've had. Now she's taking it. She's taking my bag. Now I must take all of my things. Kitty can make a plus Because she wants my bag. Because she doesn't want to go to Mr. Price. So she's like, no, I'll send you the money. You go back to Mr. Price and just go buy another bag. Like, what life is this? The life of a, of a little sister. It's not fair. It's actually not fair. But she loves this bag. And I'm, I think I'm closer to Mr. Price than she is. So this bag is going to stay. Then Hosani, I must go and look for the bag again. Basically a week later. It's fine. It's okay, guys. It's still there. I know it's still there, so I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, the joys of being a little sister, little cousin. Wow. There we go. Mm -hmm. I got Lego. I have to You got rubber Lego. This is nice. Who was this one in that I 
I love you. Oh, oh you love because of the you are loving me on condition. We are, we are, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm my, my sister's love is on condition, unconditional love. Hi, my love is unconditional. <laughs> she loves, she loves me because I give you give me back. Donna, I give you give me hang out, hang out. I said, I love her. It's just that today, why, because why, of the bag. why, why bear because of the bag? I tell her every time I give one, and I tell her that I love her. <laughs> maybe, she, maybe she's doing what we need to do. First of all, I didn't even tell you guys. Hi, how are you? It's another day. Uh, it's the next day actually. I didn't go to church. Had a little bit too much wine. Wasn't feeling okay. But also these guys came to deliver late. Because yesterday I thought I was going to go to church. And I said that he must come and deliver before 10. Got out to 10. Maybe 10 o'clock. I had to phone him and say, uh, when are you arriving? Anyway. Point is, he has arrived and my couch is here. <laughs> let's test it out. Okay, let's see. Let me let me test it out. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's gonna take a little bit of um. Getting used to, but it's nice. Oh, this is so nice. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and I can take a nap. I can actually fit here and take a nap. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me just give you guys a close up. Don't mind all of this. I think it's like when it was being packed and stuff, but the guy did say it was sprayed with scotch guard, so I can just like wipe it down. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Here's the material. It's this. It, I think it's called boucle, boucle material. It's a big couch, but it's nice. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, well, here anyway. In terms of sticking out, it's not taking too much space. I can't let you go. 
there's no way I'm already so still burning So hold to me close Now baby, I do what I'm told Still learning to take my chances To take my time To keep on dancing To walk that line, yeah You got me shifting The paradigm No longer wishing You're my lucky strike Love the way you ride Look into my eyes Say you're ready to go Million dollar life We can roll the dice Act like you're surprised But you already know Oh yeah Got lucky, got lucky overnight Jackpot when I got the invite Let me wrap my arms around you Cause I can't go home without you And my heart just vibes Wanna go sky high with you, babe Gonna bring you close to tell you That you're my lucky strike And I got to tell you If you didn't know Then I got to tell you That you're my lucky strike And I got to tell you Hi guys, I'm closing the vlog off today Right now, I'm closing it off In my life <laughs> I don't know how to explain this because people think I'm weird but insects lizards rodents make my skin crawl like literally it just feels like ugh, right now we are back in summer well it's not even summer it's still spring technically but it's already hot we're in spring and I've been seeing lizards outside. Like, I don't have an issue with lizards when they are outside in their environment. Like, they must just t t be there. It's fine. The moment you come into my house, I have a problem. And my anxiety goes on 1,000. Tell me today why there was a lizard that came into my house. It came into my house. And then it was in my curtain this one in the dining room and i was like okay calm down mo don't don't panic just open the sliding door let it go out i opened the sliding door i even opened my kitchen door thinking this thing i'm just gonna leave it in peace and it must go it didn't go it did not go instead a friend came and joined the party and then there were two of them then i was like you know what the hell i'm not doing this I went to fetch our security guard <laughs> and I was like, please come help me. I don't know what to do. I can't deal with this right now. So he comes, like he shakes the curtain. He looks, he looks, he looks, nothing. And I'm like, okay, maybe they're gone because I'd left the sliding door open. So I was like, okay, maybe they're gone in peace. I sit and I chill for Boma 20 minutes. I'm wearing a top, ne? I know I'm like this. It's not a bra, it's a top. But my 20 minutes, I see something popping up there at the top. Now I'm thinking, maybe it's my imagination. Maybe, you know, the curtain was just sitting skew. So I'm like, okay, cool. I continue watching TV. But my eye keeps going back there. That first lizard that was there initially, it's still there. How is it still there when this man shook and whatever, like, and I calmed myself down and I got up and I went back to the gate to fetch him. And I said, sir, this thing is not gone. It is not gone. So I need you to come back and get it out because it's not. And anyway, he came back. This thing was there, brave. Now the head was just showing. I feel like this thing. And then he tries to grab it. And then it's like ring. Okay, it wasn't trying to grab it. He like put the, the broom on top of it. And it was like, then it ran under the fridge. Oh my God. Did I not panic when it went under the fridge? Now he's like, okay, he's moving the fridge, moving the fridge. As he moves the fridge, this thing is moving underneath the fridge. <laughs> what? Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, 
eventually he gets it hits it with the broom sweeps it out the tail is still still in the house it's still wrangling it off anyway so then yeah so he's outside and he's busy whacking it it's like no 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 i've hit it it's dead and i'm like take this thing out as well the tail so he sweeps the tail out and then guy got doom and i spray this thing got doom you know and then he's like no let's just sweep it out of the way i'm like okay cool as he sweeps it this thing starts moving it's not dead i said hell no kill it it actually initially i had said let me let's burn it and he's like what are you gonna burn it with i was like i've got matches there's a paper somewhere we're gonna burn this thing and he's like no 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 let's not then he went and he took a smalling and a brick and he just ended the lizard's life and then i kept saying to him are you sure he's like no i'm sure it's gone like sister you don't have to worry now you don't have to worry and i was like yo are you sure and he's like, no, 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 I'm very, very sure. And I was like, okay, fine. So it's outside there. Just to make sure, I went and I got sanitizer, gel sanitizer, and I put it on top there where the injury is. Just to make sure that this thing does not, does not come alive. If I could tell you guys the trauma that I've had, I posted the status. Hold on, I'll tell you guys. Uh at 12.59 there we go 12.59 um is this thing focusing okay you can't see but the bottom one this one this one 12.59 was the first one I posted with the lizard in the curtain and then here at 14.55 so two hours later Basically, I'm like, this thing brought a friend. <laughs> hey, and the comments that were coming through were killing me. The comments, people are like, no, it's not harmful. It's not going to hurt you. Come. I said, I don't care. I do not care a damn if it's not going to bite me, if it's not harmful. I need this thing to not be in my house. This thing stresses me out. I'm freaking out. My anxiety, like I had that anxiety sweat. Actually, if they are, ooh. okay. That anxiety, sweat, you know, and I was like, no, 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 I can't, I cannot do this. I really cannot do this. Like, this is not my life. So the people that understand, they understand. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, forget about it. Don't ask me questions. Don't debate. We all have our thing. This is my thing. Insects, lizards, rodents. So anyway. So now it's officially gone. It's RIP. Um, but now I still keep looking at the cards. <laughs> Cause I'm like this thing, but I keep like, I know it's gone, but like in my mind, because the first time I thought it was gone, but it wasn't. So like, I keep looking there to check, like is something else going to pop up its head, but nothing's popping up. I even Googled like some, um, home remedies, and then they said like chili and stuff. So I took the cayenne pepper that I had and I somehow threw it down there by the door and then by my kitchen door. Because I'm like, I don't want this thing coming in. I've closed all of my windows. So if my house becomes an incubator, we shall incubate. I will buy a fan. I will buy aircon because I cannot live like this. I really cannot live like this. So anyway, I just thought I'd come and share my trauma with you guys. I really would want to have a drink right now. <sighs> like just to, you know, just to. <sighs> but because I'm on my 75 and it says must drink on occasion. But technically, this is an occasion. <laughs> this is an occasion. I know I'm sounding like those Uber black ads. Have you guys seen them where it's like just any excuse? I feel like that right now. That like this is an occasion. This requires a, something, you know. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll deal with my life. Um, I'll have chamomile tea and calm down. Anyway, ooh, I've been I've been talking for 
almost nine minutes now. That's a lot of talking. Anyway, I am closing the vlog off. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be because I haven't edited the full thing. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed it, please do give the video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Please comment, guys. I need you all to comment. Like, there's only one person that ever comments on my videos. Like, I feel like if she wasn't commenting, no one would comment. I would have zero comments on my videos. So please comment. Please comment something, anything. Leave an emoji. Must I go back to asking you guys to leave emojis? Because when I was doing that, then y'all were actually leaving emojis, even if you're not commenting. Maybe I must go back to doing that. So leave this emoji. I don't know what emoji I'll put, but please leave this emoji so that I know that you've made it all the way to the end of the video. If you have not yet, please do subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Me and my trauma. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.